Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us thank the Lord for gathering us this Sunday morning to celebrate this Holy Eucharist. And let us pray that as we listen to God's Word and as we receive the body and blood of Jesus, we may be nourished and strengthened as we journey in this life. And they may, may they lead us to life everlasting. Today is the World Day of the Poor. In a special way, we pray for each one of us because there is poverty in each of us. Let us pray for our brothers and sisters who are suffering because of poverty, because of sickness. Let us also pray for our brothers and sisters who have passed away and the families who are grieving the loss of their loved ones. So that we may become less unworthy to partake of the mysteries of God's love, let us now humbly call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on and earth, earth peace, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. In those days, I, Daniel, heard this word of the Lord. At that time, there shall arise Michael, the great prince, guardian of your people. It shall be a time unsurpassed in distress since nations began until that time. At that time, your people shall escape. Everyone who is found written in the book, many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. Others shall be an everlasting horror and disgrace. But the wise shall shine brightly like the splendor of the firmament, and those who lead the many to justice shall be like the stars forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup. You eat so who hold fast my lot. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You will show me the path to life. Fullness of joy is in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. You are my inheritance, O Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, every priest stands daily at his ministry, offering frequently those same sacrifices that can never take away sins. But 
this one offered one sacrifice for sins and took his seat forever at the right hand of God. Now he waits until his enemies are made his footstool, for by one offering he has made perfect forever those who are being consecrated. Where there is forgiveness of this, there is no longer offering for sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, In those days after the tribulation, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will be falling from the sky, and the powers in the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory, and then he will send out the angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the end of the earth, to the end of the sky. Learn a lesson from the fig tree when its branch becomes tender and sprouts leaves. You know that summer is near. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that he is near at the gates. Amen, I say to you, this generation will not pass away until all these things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. But of that day or hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, when I was still a seminarian, we had a priest formator in the seminary who would always ask us this question, especially if we violate seminary rules. He would ask, where will that bring you? Saan ka dadalhin niyan? Where will your misbehavior bring you? Where will your disobedience bring you? Saan ka dadalhin niyang katigasan ng ulo mo? And that question struck me. That question remained with me even now after many years of being a priest. There are still times when I catch myself asking myself, where will this bring me? Where will what I did or what I said bring me? 
Saan kaya ako dadalhin nung ginawa ko? Saan kaya ako dadalhin nung sinabi ko? Saan kaya ako dadalhin nung pag-uugali ko? This question is a common question. Probably, as parents, you have also asked this question to your children who are misbehaving and who are doing silly things in their life. Kapag napapariwara ang ating mga anak, minsan tinatanong din natin, naisip mo ba kung saan ka dadalhin niyang ginagawa mo? Maybe this is also the question of children to their parents who refuse to drink their medicines, who do not take care of themselves. Sasabihin ng mga anak sa kanilang magulang, Tay, Nay, saan ka dadalhin niyang katigasan ng ulo mo? Probably this is the question also of employers to their employees who are not performing well in their jobs. Saan ka dadalhin niyang katamaran mo? Maybe this is also the question of teachers to students who barely pass their class. Saan ka dadalhin niyang bagsak na grade mo? This is also the question to us when we fail to observe health protocols, when we do not wear our face masks well, when we do not observe physical distancing, when we refuse to be vaccinated, when we pretend as if everything is normal, tuloy lamang ang ligaya, ang party, ang pagsasaya, tatanungin din tayo, saan ka dadalhin yan? Enjoy now. Where will you be later? Where will that bring you? Saan ka dadalhin yan? You know, my dear brothers and sisters, this is an important question because this question tells us many truths about our life. Truths that we already know, but we need constant reminding. By asking, where will that bring you? Saan ka dadalhin niyang ginagawa mo? Saan ka dadalhin niyang buhay mo? We are also saying that our present situation is not our final situation. There is somewhere else that we will go to. That is why you ask, where will that bring you? Because you will be brought to somewhere else. We are reminded today of the perennial truth about life. That life on this world is temporary. That we are not permanent on earth. That we are just passing through. Nakikidaan lamang tayo sa daigdig na ito. There is somewhere else that we will go to someday. But because we are just passing through this world, does not mean that life here on earth does not matter. Kasi pwede nating sabihin eh, total nakikidaan lang naman ako, So, wala naman palang halaga ang buhay sa mundong ito. Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, that when we ask, where will that, your actions, your words, your attitude, your decisions, where will that bring you? It also means that our life here on earth has an implication to where we will go. Yung ginagawa natin sa buhay na ito ay may kinalaman kung saan tayo pupunta pagdating ng panahon. Saan ka dadalhin niyang ginagawa mo? Yung ginagawa mo dito magsasabi kung saan ka dadalhin 
sa takdang panahon. And our readings this Sunday talk about where we could possibly go. Saan ba tayo pwedeng pumunta? Saan ba tayo pwedeng mapunta? In our first reading today, we heard of the vision of the prophet Daniel. Michael, the archangel, will return in the time of great distress. And many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some shall live forever. They will be like the stars that will shine brightly. But some will be an everlasting horror and disgrace. Pagdating ng panahon, babalik si San Miguel at magkakaroon ng malaking paglalaban at lahat ng natutulog sa alikabok ng lupa ay bubuhayin may mga magiging katulad ng mga tala sa bituin na magniningning magpakailanman. Pero meron din namang mananatili sa kahihiyan. In our Gospel, Jesus also talks of the end times. He said there will be tribulation. There will be signs in the sky. The sun will be darkened. The moon will no longer give any light. And the stars will fall from the sky. Nakakatakot. And then the Son of Man will come. Jesus will return. And He will gather all the righteous people from all corners of the world. He will bring them to His glory in heaven where according to our second reading today, Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father. And Jesus also tells us in our gospel today, everything will pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away but my words will remain ang lahat ng bagay sa daigdig na ito lilipas mawawala isa lamang ang mananatili ang kanyang salita ang kanyang pangako ang kanyang pagmamahal my dear brothers and sisters our readings today tells us that really, there are only two options where we will go. Either we go with Jesus in the glory of heaven, or we go to the eternal suffering in hell. My dear brothers and sisters, where will your life now bring you? Let us not forget that anything we do in this life has implications to eternal life. Our words, our actions, our attitude, our moods, our relationships, our values, our principles, our decisions, even the choices that we make, all have consequences to eternity. Yung ginagawa natin at sinasabi natin, saan ka dadalhin yan? Yung ugali mo, yung temperament mo, 
yung mood mo dito sa mundo, saan ka dadalhin yan? Yung mga paniniwala at prinsipyo mo sa buhay, saan ka dadalhin yan? Yung mga desisyon na ginagawa mo araw-araw, saan ka kaya dadalhin yan? Kahit na nga yung mga simpleng pagpili natin, saan kaya tayo dadalhin? At kahit na yung pinipili nating kandidato, saan ka kaya dadalhin? Will that bring you to be like the stars that will shine forever? Or will that bring you to everlasting horror and disgrace? Will that bring you to destruction and condemnation? Or will that bring you to Him whose words will never pass away? Will that bring you to hell? Or will that bring you to heaven where you will be with Jesus who sits at the right hand of the Father? Where will that bring you? It is sad, my dear brothers and sisters, that we forget this question. We never consider that our life here on earth will determine where we will go after life on earth. Sana wag nating baliwalain yung tanong. Sana isipin natin palagi lahat ng ginagawa natin sa mundong ito magsasabi kung saan tayo pupunta. Today, we observe World Day of the Poor. This has been established by Pope Francis every 33rd Sunday in ordinary time. The Sunday before Christ the King Sunday, which we will celebrate next Sunday. And as we observe the World Day of the Poor, we are invited not just to look at those who are poor, but also to look at ourselves because we are all poor. Lahat tayo dukha at lahat tayo may karukhaan. There is poverty in each one of us. And we can only help those who are poor if we recognize our own poverty. Pope Francis invites us to take care of the poor and not to abuse them. To help the poor and not to manipulate them. And we are reminded of the words of Jesus in the Gospel. Whatever you did to the least of my brethren, you do unto me. Yung ginagawa natin dito sa lupa, lalong-lalo na para sa mga dukha, malaki ang kinalaman kung ibubukas sa atin ng pinto ng langit o hindi. My dear brothers and sisters, where will the kind of life you are living now bring you? Saan ka kaya dadalhin niyang ginagawa mo? Saan ka kaya dadalhin niyang ugali mo? Saan ka kaya dadalhin niyang paniniwala mo? Saan kaya ka kaya dadalhin ng klase ng buhay mo? Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, how we spend our life here on earth determines how we will spend eternity. Hopefully, it will not be an eternity of suffering and agony in the fires of hell, but an eternity of happiness, peace, and love with God in heaven. Please stand. 
Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. At the end of time, God will send His angels to gather His chosen ones into His kingdom. As we pray for all human needs, so we ask that we may be found worthy on that unknown day. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. The Church may constantly prepare people to welcome Christ when He returns. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who guide nations may receive divine mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the tragedies caused by nature or human cruelty will not weaken our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That all gathered here will remain watchful in prayer, looking forward to the power and glory of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead will rise to everlasting life and glory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who requested our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. God our Father, you know the day and the hour when this world will come to an end. As we offer these prayers, so we place ourselves in your provident care. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer in the sight of your majesty 
may you obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you lay the foundations of the world, and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder, to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, 
and with Him, and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. 
never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please stand. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of Him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagpunta ngayon sa Manila Cathedral at sa pagdalo sa ating banal na misa. Maraming salamat po lalo na sa mga kapatid nating matyagang nagsimba sa labas. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapasensya. At uh, salamat din po sa inyong cooperation sa ating mga health protocols na pinatutupad para na rin sa kaligtasan nating lahat. We wish to thank our brothers and sisters who are joining the live streaming of this Mass from different parts of the country and different parts of the world. We wish to thank you for being part of the online community of the Manila Cathedral. And we are grateful for all the help, the support, the love offerings that you continuously send us to sustain our mission. Maraming salamat din po sa iba't ibang social media platforms, social media pages na nagbabahagi ng misang ito para mas marami tayo mga kapatid na maabot. We also thank the staff and volunteers, servants of the Manila Cathedral for assisting and serving in our Mass this morning. Next Sunday, it will be Christ the King Sunday which marks the last week in ordinary time. And the Sunday after next, we will be opening a new liturgical year with the first Sunday of Advent. Kaya sana po ay ihanda natin ang ating mga sarili para sa mga pagdiriwang na ito. May God bless this new week and may God always give us the wisdom so that our eyes may be fixed not only on this world, but to life everlasting with Him. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God bless you in His kindness and pour out saving wisdom upon you now and forever. Amen. May He nourish you always with the teachings of the faith and make you persevere in holy deeds now and forever. Amen. May He turn your steps towards Himself and show you the path of charity and peace now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.